Let's talk about Cuenca, Ecuador. Hello, I'm Sandy, I'm from Quito, but I live in Cuenca. I want to talk about finding a job. Yeah. <laughs> I have a bachelor degree. I have been looking for a job. I have been looking for a year. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now I found a job. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> now I found a job. No, found. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Now I found a job. I want to tell you what I need. Blood test for pregnancy. Psychological test. Medical certificate. Proof of my education. Police record. Personal references. Passport photos. Copy of my ID. Copy of my daughter ID, certificate, other work, and and we need to buy new clothes and shoes. Uh, I'm <laughs> okay. Just to be a sales girl. Yeah. After all that, they didn't call me. Yeah. <laughs> How adorable was that? Some of you may recall in a video, I don't know, a few months ago, where I was on a broken bridge, uh, struggling with my drone. I was having problems that day and taking video clips of the river. And on broken bridge, I saw this girl get stung by a bee and we got to talking. That was Sandy. We become friends. And she's the one that actually introduced me to her sister, Adriana, who became my language partner. We become very good friends. I thought you might just want to see a pretty face for a change. But the key here is work in Ecuador. I see on Facebook quite a bit. It's a, it's a constant thing where people from the United States, Canada, other countries in the world continually ask, I want to come to Ecuador. Are there a lot of jobs there? And my answer is no, there's not a lot of jobs here. And there'll be plenty of people on Facebook. I don't know why, but they post Oh yeah, it's basically, it's a land of opportunity and you can do what you want to do and there's, you won't have any trouble finding a job and I don't know what country they're talking about. Every friend I've got, I swear here, has it struggled to find jobs or are still trying to find jobs. The job market here is thin at best. And then you add to that this massive wave of Venezuelans coming, escaping from the problems in that country. And a few years back, there was a wave of Colombians coming, escaping from the, from the FARC wars, the revolutionaries. Um, they came here also. And so you have all these people competing for jobs. And it's very difficult. Now, Sandy, she's got a degree in biotechnology. Uh, it took her five years to get that degree because of a specific science degree. It, she hasn't been able to find anything in her field. She's actually been out looking for servers and restaurant uh, cleaning staff. Uh, you know, she could finally get this job and she did get it. They called right after we did the video. Um, she starts tomorrow as a sales clerk in a clothing store. Oh, well, granted, it's a fashion clothing store. It's an upscale one, but you, you get my point. I mean, you go to university for five years and you've got a sought-after degree in the world of biotechnology uh, with very high grades and acclimations that go with it. And she's, after almost a year and a half, she's found a job as a sales clerk. I wouldn't say that that's a thriving job market. And she's been on the coast. She's from Quito. She looked in Quito. She's, you know, she looked here in Cuenca. So it's not like she just sat waiting for something to come in her lap. She's gone around the country trying to find a place of employment of any sort, of any amount. And just to give a little information on this job that she has as a sales clerk, you saw the crazy list of requirements. I mean, 
pregnancy test. They need to know if you're married. They need to know if you have any children. All of the things that she told you, there are actually a few more uh, on that list that she was required to do. She had to take a, a online personality test. She had to get a certificate from a doctor, not just for medical, but a psychology. Uh, basically a pass that she's not some kind of crazy. Again, for a sales clerk. This country is kind of in love with, obsessed with bureaucracy. And you also see on Facebook, you know, people complaining because the visa process is so difficult and constantly changing. And that's true. But understand, it's not pointed at you. People here have to deal with it, even getting a sales clerk job. So it's just the way it is. It's, it's the culture, it's a society here. They're in love with this power structure that I'm here and if you want to get in the door, then you need to provide me with all of this stuff. Is any of it necessary? Probably not too much of it is necessary, but um, it's just the way it is. So uh, take that little side lesson and next time you're being driven crazy by Punto Net or the immigration office, just remember Sandy getting a sales clerk job. So jobs are difficult and they are scarce. So if you're coming here, just consider this, and I'm, I'm not passing judgment on you, but just consider this. If you do come here and you do get a job, and you might, that's somebody else that won't get a job. If you want to come here, and you're still of working age and you want to work, you may want to consider some sort of business that you can open where you can actually provide jobs for other people. Now, I think that's something of benefit. That brings me to my last point. And I'm ready for the waves of slings and arrows and crazy emails that I'll probably get over this. I usually do when I make any kind of a decision on something, and that's okay. Um, I've been working on this idea for a couple years and I shelved it and I've decided based on just in the past month and a half the amount of emails I've gotten literally dozens of emails asking me to give recommendations for one thing or another and I've always hesitated doing that or maybe on the sly I would okay you know try this I'm not going to do that anymore these are good solid people that I've known for quite a while now that I know firsthand are really good, they're honest. And so I'm going to start recommending. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to put up a uh, web page, and on there I'm going to put various types of services like uh, drivers, uh, guides, licensed uh, tourist guide. Um, of course, Adriana with her law firm, uh, I'm gonna highly recommend her for a visa. I've seen her in action, it's, it's, uh, it's refreshing to see somebody that's that aggressive and works that hard. I'm going to put up uh, cleaners. I know a number of good, reliable, reasonably priced, in other words, cheap cleaners uh, that will do a great job for you. I'm going to put up uh, real estate. I've dealt with uh, personally three different real estate agents. I know five, uh, but I'm going to put up one that I thought stood head and shoulders above everybody I know. So I'm going, to, I'm going to put these recommendations up on that website and I'm going to refer to them. And I, I'll even plug them in these videos. Why? Because people keep asking me. And I look back when I came here and you see things, but you don't really know. You cross your fingers and hope, you know. It's, but you've been watching my videos for a long time and you have some sense of who I am. And so I'm going to put it up there. Hopefully it will help you out. Now, I know the detractors, the trolls that they get are going, ah, oh, see, he just turned into another person that's going to flee Springos and he's going to make, you know, use them to make money. I'm not going to make a dime off this. It's actually going to cost me because I'm going to pay for the web page. I'm going to do what I think other people should do. I think this country needs a little bit of boost in this respect of jobs. I know these good people. I know that they're not as employed as they could be. In a couple cases, they, they really struggle. And knowing them personally, of course, I'm gonna think they don't deserve that. 
And I know that other people that need those services would benefit from it. So despite what may come, the stories that this is going to generate about how I'm, you know, I'm getting rich and this has become the Gold Coast for me or something, I don't know. I don't even, I don't care. These are good, solid people. I keep getting asked for recommendations. I have decided after a couple of years that I'm going to do that. So you can look for that in the future or get your keyboards warmed up and send out those emails. Um, I'm ready. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found Sandy as absolutely adorable as I do. And she was freaking out because I put those in between clips where she was laughing. I left them in there because that's her. That is her personality. If I took those out, I think you would miss out on the great personality that she is. So, oh, next video. It's going to be on the Battle of the Burgers. There's two places in Cuenca that claim to be the best burgers in Cuenca. And so I'm going to put that to the test. I already have, actually. And I'm going to put those clips up, and then I'm going to put a little twist on that. So I'll see you next time. You know you could. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's talk about Cuenca, Ecuador. Oh. Uh